not joking. Father, we thank you for this wonderful, blessed Sabbath day. Be with us as we worship you now. Please accept our worship. Forgive us of our sins and shortcomings. In Jesus' name we pray. So you're not Amen. Amen. I was sitting and thinking about worshiping God. And I was thinking that one day the Bible says that we will worship God face to face. So that day when we worship God face to face, there will be many peoples, many cultures, many nationalities there. So here on earth now, we are learning how to worship God. And even though God is not here, where we can see him face to face, we must even imagine that he is here worshiping with us. That will make our worship more meaningful. So this morning we want to talk about family worship. Exactly what is worship? Worship is celebrating the worthiness of God by which honor is given to his holy name. Worship is praise, adoration, and reverence of God both in public and in private. Have you ever heard the saying of family that prays together, stays together? I think that saying is uh, important in our private worship and also in our public worship. If we pray together, we'll have peace and stay together. So, my brothers and sisters, I admonish all of us to worship God and be at peace. Parents decide whether or not their children choose the service of God or the service of the world. Parents decide whether their children will have eternal life or eternal death. The father, as priest of the household, brings his family before God morning and evening. I think I'll repeat that. Uh, the father, Lengzi. as priest of the household, brings his family before God morning and evening. Now I'd like to share some reasons why some families do not have family worship. 
anh nói xa hay cái chuyện cái giờ để ôi cha cha cái chế nên họ chỉ mua cái bê hở quá chịu họ lại chế nên some families do not have a value for worship cái chế nên chỉ đó bỏ cho chỉ tâm tâu cái cái bê hở quá chịu họ giờ ôm mong cái trò lại chế nên some families have a lack a relationship with God cái chế nên chỉ mua cái gì cho rong đầu lại thiết trò quá chịu giờ rong trầu then some have wrong relationships with others. That could be a wrong relationship with family members, with friends, or church members. There is nothing sadder than a prayerless family. Why is family worship so important? Worship keeps God first in the family. Matthew 6.33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything will be added unto you. Family worship, our family worship should not be governed by our circumstances. I'll give an example. Just because I have to get up early in the morning and go out to the field or the garden to work, it's no excuse for me not having family worship in my family. When we have family worship first, God will help us to work better in our fields. So we must not neglect to pray every day, even when we are busy, make worship a priority. Also, we should have fixed times for family worship. Family worship is the most important thing in our family. We have certain times that we have to keep certain appointments, like going to the doctor or going to work. Family worship is more important, so we should have a fixed time. So it is proper for the parents to gather the children together in the morning and sit down for family worship. When our children learn to worship at home, they will learn how to come to church and worship God and reverence Him. So it is very important for us to ask God for His help. And for His guidance. And for his watch care during the day. Then again, in the evening, the parents gather the entire family before God to thank him for blessings, for the blessings, and keeping the family during the day. 
Worship is a time to learn about God together as a family. In your spare time, you can read Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 6 and 7. The Bible says there that we should teach our children faithfully. We should talk to our children when we sit, our, sit in our home and when we walk by the way. The Bible says we should talk to our children when we rise up and when we lay down. Again, I cannot stress too much that we should teach our children to respect the worship hour. For we are teaching them to respect God at an early age. Worship allows the family to build their faith together. The Bible commends us to follow those things that we've learned. Those things that we've learned from a child. The Holy Scriptures make us wise unto salvation. Worship helps to keep peace and harmony and unity within our family. Isaiah 54.13 says, And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of their children. God also commands us to worship Him. But even though He commands us to worship Him, He still gives us freedom of choice. Revelation 14 says, saying with a loud uh, voice, fear God, which means respect God, and give glory to Him. For the hour of His judgment is come. And we must worship him that made heaven, earth, the sea, and the fountains of waters. So we must make the worship period very interesting. A good example is just like what we had this morning. We sang some songs. We had some personal testimonies. So these are the types of things that we can do at home. Worship can be short and lively. It doesn't have to be long and drawn out. We don't want to bore our children with long prayers and long Bible readings.
We must teach our children to learn scripture and for ourselves to learn scripture. And especially we need to memorize and often repeat God's Ten Commandments. So when should we worship God? And you've heard it over and over. Every morning and every evening we should worship God. And why should we not worship God? He is so good to us. Friday evening at sunset, before the Sabbath comes in, we should worship God. We should worship God on the seventh day Sabbath with our families like we are doing now. We should worship God at sunset this evening with our families. Now we'd like to share some benefits of having family worship. It reinforces the family's daily dependence upon God. It provides a fresh set of truth for the family to meditate upon each day. Just imagine if we take one scripture a week and memorize that scripture. How much scripture will we know at the end of the year? We would be more familiar with God's holy word. So therefore, we would know God better. It's very important. And our children can learn at a very early age. As a matter of fact, they would find it a challenge and they would enjoy it. Another benefit to the family is that it provides an opportunity to address important family issues from God's holy word. We can find answers to everything that concerns us in this Bible. Another benefit to the family is that it creates a habit of faithfulness to God. It increases devotion to God in the family. And our children grow up with the knowledge that God must be honored in everything. It causes growth in grace as a family. Which affects the spiritual level of each individual. It regulates the schedule 
of the household and draws the family together instead of tearing the family apart. It can stop or restrain outward sin. And it strengthens against inward sin. It opens the door for spiritual blessings for the family through God's holy word. Family worship is indeed a blessing. Now we also have some benefits for the uh, church. It removes problems never meant to be handled by the church or by the pastor. It provides for daily prayer for the church members. We're praying for each other. It raises the level of spirituality. It raises the level of practical holiness. It raises the level of growth in the congregation. It prepares the family for church worship. So families come to church with an attitude of serving others. Instead of an attitude of what can the church do for me. Now some benefits for our communities. It raises the level of spirituality in our communities. It will bring greater order to society and to our cultures. The truth, which is God's word, will spread its influence and remove darkness and ignorance in our world. What a privilege and what a great joy it is to have family worship at home and to have worship with our family at church. And one day, we will sit before our Savior face to face. The Bible says from one moon to another and from one Sabbath to another, we will come and sit face to face and worship with God. So we should love to come and worship God together. We should teach our children to love the period or time when it's time to worship our Creator God. Yes, 
May God help us all to continue to worship him and then finally be with him one day in heaven. Let's pray. Father, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to come before you to worship you. Our minds cannot comprehend how you love us and how you accept our worship. We thank you and praise you how we as brethren, even though of a different culture or a different nationality, can come and humble ourselves and worship you together. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity and privilege to worship you together. You do so much for us when we come to worship you. You are cleansing us and you are strengthening us to, to be able to deal with all the problems in this world that we have to deal with. Thank you for our families, Lord. Help us to train our children properly. Help us as husband and wife to love one another so that we can be the right example before our children. And before the community and before the whole world. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.